is probably the best restaurant in the sky. <laughs> oh, every little inch is precious here on the 747 cargo. We don't need any Q suites on this airplane. I'm going to show you something even better. Who need first class? Let's quickly go back to the upper deck because we need to go to sleep now. There's a turbulence. There you go. Your full flat bed in the sky. I have superpower. I'm going to use one of my finger to pull the container forward. time dream for me today gonna fly on a cargo plane and what's better than the one behind me the 747-8 cargo of Qatar Airways let's fly together guys it's really really crazy weather outside in uh, Hong Kong but the cargo loading just started onto the 747-8 so let's check it out Hi, my name is Guillaume Malheu. I'm the Chief Officer of Cargo for Qatar Airways. Um, we are very pleased to welcome Sam today on board our 747-8 freighter from Hong Kong to Doha. Very unique flight today, fully loaded, as quite often with Hong Kong. We expect 34 positions, main deck of cargo. We expect one engine connecting in Doha into Madrid. And very soon, Alberto will open the nose door for us so that, Sam, you can show our viewers from the outside the unique feature of that airplane. Well, this is really, really crazy weather. A non-stop torrential rain in Hong Kong. But look at this, 747 nose is about to open to load the cargo in. I'm soaking wet, but this is the operation that must go on. I mean, I'm with all the people who work hard on the front line, the operation. You must load all the cargo in the plane and in about 40 minutes, we're closing the door to take off. So hats off to all the people who work under rain or shine like this. This unit here, as you can see, is a rubber wheel. It's called the Power Drive Unit PDU. It basically helps the traction of the pallet inside the main deck so that the staff and our colleagues don't have to push very hard. Each pallet can go up to 7 tons for one position, but sometimes we even have 20 tons pallet, so nobody can really move it. Those roller blades here are actually helping also the movement, so be careful where you step because I don't want you to fall down. I'm on the flight deck at the nose here, and uh, just one more pallet will come in through the 747 nose. There's already one right here, which I filmed from down under the plane. So there's one more from this position gonna come in. What's happening, Alberto? So now due to the heavy rain, the pallets are uh, a lot of water on top of the... Uh, oh, the water's the on top of the pallets. Yeah, so we have to get rid of all these excess water. So that's why they're bringing the pallet down so that they can uh, remove that excess water. Shake so, it off. Okay. Yeah, it's part of, uh, it's part of the job, so... Yeah, look at all this water on the, on the pallet. Yeah, get rid of the water. Too wet. So this is how you lock it? Yeah. Can I try? Yeah. Yep. And then make and sure then it clicks down. Oh, oh sorry. Lift it up. Yep. Yeah, clicks down. There you go. We're like fully loaded from Hong Kong here, ready to go. Look at it, it's still wet. Everything is plastic sealed. So Sam, I want you to see and observe this pallet and the next one. Look how high it is. It's actually a couple of centimeters from the ceiling of that main deck. This is pure optimization of the space we have on that freighter. This is how we maximize the aircraft and we move as much cargo as possible in an efficient way. Precise, yes. So, oh, wow. People like Rolls Royce, when they design an engine or GE, mm. they make sure that the maximum size fits oh, the cargo doors of the oh, aircraft available in the market. Wow. Because they know that otherwise nobody can transport it. That's right. Talk about real estate here. Every little inch is precious here on the 747 cargo. Just barely fits the 
ceiling of the cargo deck here, this engine. They're still having trouble moving, so it's going back and forth at the moment. So Sam, what you just saw is called the turn. The turn meaning when the pilot enters perpendicular to the airplane, then they have to turn it 90 degrees in order to load it. What we'll do is listen to the load master and apply tie down on the engine. We'll spend approximately 20 minutes on the tie down. Normally, we, uh, we use these locks on the floor to secure the pallets on the on the aircraft. But for this type of loading, which is center loaded on the 747, we have to use straps. We can use locks to secure the cargo. That's why we are having all these straps to secure the cargo. There's nothing else holding this pallet uh, to the aircraft. <laughs> On each side of the 747 freighter, you have a narrow passage you can come through because the whole main deck everywhere in the center is occupied by the cargo pallets. And today we have full cargo pallets. This plane is huge, taking 135 tons capacity of cargo. Hi guys, I'm Captain Ursel. Today uh, doing the freighter flight, Qatar Airways cargo to uh, Doha from Hong Kong on our beautiful 747-8. And let's move on with the uh, outside inspection. Okay, before each flight we uh, check that all wheels are in a good um, position, if there, that there is nothing wrong with them, all the tire pressure is good, nothing leaking, we have our landing lights, everything looks nice, entrance of the feeder tubes is not blocked or something, that's uh, very important for us. You mean this tube? Yes. This is the a sensor, right? This is a sensor, it takes, it, it takes the air, uh -huh. and uh, we have also uh, static sensors, and According to what they have as an input, we get the uh, airspeed out of this and also other things. Here we check that uh, everything is good with our powerful uh, GANX 2 Bravo 67 engine. We check downstairs that there is nothing leaking, no hydraulic, no fuel. And uh, then proceed forward to uh, check our in-blade. Uh, in It's I was a, told Rolls Royce Trans 700. Exactly, the one uh, used on the Airbus 330. Mm. And of course, uh, since it's so big, uh, we have to uh, strap it down very tightly. Uh, you want to, an extra strap down. Exactly, to have a safe flight today. So you do the final check before you sign off. Exactly, before we close the doors, I come down and check all the locks and everything inside the main deck. And uh, thereafter, if, I'm, uh, if I agree with everything, I do sign off the load sheet and uh, we close the doors and go. And now I'm just climbing up the stairs to go to the upper deck where the pilots fly and where also there's a crew rest where I'm gonna sit today as a passenger on the 747 cargo. I suggest you to keep your seatbelts fastened. Yep. If we uh, see anything that there will be in turbulence or we are already in turbulence, sometimes it's a clear air turbulence we cannot see before, uh, we'll uh, set the uh, seatbelt signs on so you just sit. Um, if there is anything today during the departure, if we have to abort the takeoff, for example, uh, I will call you guys uh, supernumeraries. So if I say supernumeraries, be seated, just keep seated, don't stand up. Uh, we don't use this door for any emergency. We have uh, another door right here. If we tell you to evacuate in such a case, which will hopefully not happen, right here, yeah, we have this one. And uh, in such a case, we would all, always already come to you and uh, we would open the door, uh, push out the slide, mm. and then we would slide down all together. These are the seats on the uh, 747-8 upper deck. There's six seats, two private bunk bags at the back. Ciao, Giancarlo. Hello. Today, first officer from Italy. Today on our flight from Hong Kong to uh, Doha, it will be uh, around uh, 7 hours and 35 minutes. We will cruise initially at an altitude of 30,000 feet since we are really topped up today, fully loaded and uh, thereafter after using some more fuel we'll, uh, we plan to climb to 32,000 feet uh, to continue until uh, Doha. Captain, I want to know like 
you fly 747-8 cargo, have you flown passenger flights? I want to know what kind of difference as a pilot flying cargo compared to flying passenger? Yeah, I did uh, passenger flights as well before. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel that cargo flights are a little bit easier for the crew. Yeah. There is no passengers, nothing to wait for. If the load is uh, finished, you just close the doors and go. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good to go. Behind the landing, triple seven, line up and wait, runway zero seven right, behind. Behind landing, traffic, line up and wait, zero seven right, behind the Qatari, head for one nine. Qatari, eight four one nine, wind at the up, wind end, one zero zero degrees, one eight knots, runway zero seven right, clear for takeoff. Clear to takeoff, zero seven right, Qatari, eight four one nine. Rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Gear up. LNF. Thrust okay, minus speed. One, nine, LNF. Contact, so departure from one, two, three, days, eight, see ya. One, two, one, two, three point eight, got a red for one, nine, and bye. Bangladesh, Calcutta, north of Bombay, over Arabian Sea, We're flying over north, over the uh, Strait of Hormuz, down to Qatar. So after takeoff, we're all getting hungry. Yes. Alberto is the low master. <laughs> I think you are also the chef on this flight. I will be on board today. Yes. Yeah, we'll see what kind of meals on a cargo plane we have. Gourmet, five-star Qatar Airways food. That we call the, the magic box. So we have a... Magic box? Yes, I don't know what's... Let's have a look. Product. What's the magic? So... Oh! Snacks. Snack. Snacks. Uh, cookies. Oh, this is nice. This is like a nut. Yeah. Right. Cookies. Uh, oh, Pix. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Plus, tea, coffee. Very coffee. Important. Oh, Nairobi coffee. Oh yes, come with us. We have salmon. Salmon. Ooh. We also have chicken. Chicken. Pasta. What's this one? Pasta. Pasta. There's no flight attendant, so you gotta help yourself. Come to the galley here, order your food, and help yourself. Much quicker, though. But there's six seats on the upper deck on the 747 8 freighter here. I mean, like, these seats are not really the cute suites, but they do recline pretty deep. It's like an old lazy boy, it feels very, very comfy. In order to go downstairs, we have to carry this oxygen bottle because there's no oxygen mask like in the passenger cab. So this is in case of a decompression. So in case we need it, we just open the valve, replace the mask, breathe normally, that's it. Now, um, I'm just going downstairs. So now I'm wearing this oxygen mask in case of decompression. Just going down to the deck to take a look at all the cargoes. I was just looking out this window. It's amazing engine view. Okay, let's go continue now. Well, coming to the middle of the fuselage, where the engine is now. So this flashing light means that the seatbelt sign has been turned on, so we have to return to the main deck because of the uh, turbulence. Let's quickly go back to the upper deck because we need to go to seatbelt, there's a turbulence. 
Oh, I can tell you carrying this oxygen mask. It's a couple kilo. It's not easy. Ooh. Oh, better sit down and sit belt now. Captain, the CB, what's the ceiling like? It looks really above us. Yeah, according to the uh, weather charts we have today, it's uh, going up to 45,000 feet. It's well above us, so uh, there is no other chance than avoiding them as we just are doing right now. You are making small adjustments, trying to go around, exactly. going, not going through, okay? Exactly. It would be real dangerous to go inside those clouds. And uh, we are just going, we try to do smaller adjustments. Sometimes we have to do larger ones, like right now we are 30 miles. Uh, to the right of our trek, but uh, we have to do it. There is no other chance to avoid them. So now I'm going to show you the best thing. We don't need any Q suites on this airplane. I'm going to show you something even better than a Q suite. Follow me. Now look at this. I have my own private bedroom here. There you go, your full flat bed in the sky on the 747-8. There's nothing better than this. Your feet doesn't hit the wall and you know, you got all the room. Look at how wide this seat is and it's full flat. It's like a mattress on here. This is better than all the business class seats I have tried out. And we finally went past the weather system. The seatbelt sign is off now. So I'm going down to check out the cargo. <music> 747 hold about 135 tons. Pallets and pallets of cargo. Oh my god, this part is really narrow and the nose coming out from the back to the nose. Oh, very narrow, made it. Jeez. Actually self-serving and uh, now I'm going to the cockpit for my meal. What a great place to have a meal at. This is probably the best restaurant in the sky. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Huh? Yeah. 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 Nothing better cruising 34,000 feet just for the Indian coast on our way toward the Arabian Sea and having my second meal in the carpet. Runway 34 right, clear to land, surface wind 020 degrees, 05 knots. Clear to land, for uh, right, like Qatar is 419. Oh, look what this taxi is up to me. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Speed oh, break up. Qatar is 8 Hotel Tango, ILS uh, 34 right, BOE is 136. Hotel Tango Tauris, continue approach QNH 9098, Hector Pascal. Welcome to Doha, thank you very much for joining us today and I hope you have enjoyed the flight. Hope to see you on another flight at Qatar Airways. Alright, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So this is your last flight I heard before you go back to your home country. Yes, that's station correct. at your home country. That's correct. I'll Are you gonna miss this? Show. Of course, this Big is uh, an amazing job, so I really enjoyed all this time here in Doha, so uh, it's time to go home. Well thank you so much for looking after me on the flight. I learned so much and this is a flight to remember. Yes, of course, even for me. This is I will remember this for a very long, long, long time. Thank you very much also. And guys, it's not the end. We haven't shown you all the cargo facilities, loading, offloading activities in Doha. So stay tuned. Super, super humid in Doha here. But nothing better than walking down on the 747. What a glorious arrival. Welcome to the Hamad International Airport cargo campus. This is our hub. This is where all the transit cargo that came to Doha 
will be broken down, sorted, and put on the connecting flight again, similar process as the passengers. So this is an example of a lower deck pallet that is ready to go and to be loaded. The three components, the, plastic, the, the aluminum sheet, this is the base of the pallet, the boxes inside have been positioned to a certain height to make sure it fits in the belly, and then the plastic sheet to protect from water, and then the net, and the net would be tightened to avoid that the carton collapses on the side of the pallet. Some earlier in the flight today we talked about the contour of the aircraft and contour of the pallets, right? If you come with me to that side, you clearly see that one side is actually very straight mm -hmm. with, a root, with the top and then it goes and it makes a sort of an arch and the arch is designed to match the fuselage of the aircraft in order to maximize the space used on the pallet. Sam, we're now in the danger zone. The docking dangerous goods, so we have dangerous. classified them. Very dangerous. So we've classified them in several categories and they're segregated from one another. So you have your corrosives, you have your flammables over there, and uh, further down here, don't want to go too close, but again, properly segregated, so it's all in safe hands. And this specific one is for cargo aircraft only, so it will not travel in the belly hold with passengers. All right. Only cargo aircraft. So most of the dangerous goods travel on cargo planes? Not all, but certain categories. It's all categorized and you see it on the labels that are displayed <coughs> on the box mm. of the dangerous goods uh, category itself. Qatar Airways will transport more than 1,000 cars per year. 1,000 um, cars? From throughout the world. This one is a new one. Uh, it's, a, it's a main deck car, it's too high to go on a passenger flight, but sometimes we move Ferraris or Porsche in, in the passenger plane. So don't be surprised if next time you fly through the window, you see a Ferrari being loaded under your feet. Sam, this, this illustrates one of the great pride that we have at Qatar Airways, contributing to a better world by sending aid and relief to people and populations in need. So we do it twofold. We do it with NGOs. We also do it part of our humanitarian activity, meaning we ship some cargo free of charge to a number of locations when people are in need. We are in our live animal facility, a fully air conditioned facility where we look after our, all of our animals, the smaller animals. A uh, little cat here, going, coming from Sofia, going to Jakarta, final destination. JFK to Lahore. Beautiful cats. This is the area for dogs where we just had a delivery coming in from Washington here for Doha. So the owner, the very happy owner, will be soon collecting his beloved dog. So Frank, what kind of exotic animal do you transport as cargo? Oh Sam, we go from zebras to lions to elephants, uh, but not today unfortunately. Welcome to our climate control center. This is where all the perishable cargo we transit. We guarantee temperature from 15 to 25 degrees. In the other room over there, from 3 to 8 degrees. And we carry here pharmaceutical as well as food and any sort of other perishable products. It's actually really easy. These wheels made it, I mean, you can push four ton by one man. By on your own, you can push four tons of cargo. Oh, look, uh, you got fresh fish coming in. It looks really easy, they just push it like this. So thanks for showing me so much. I actually never thought about, you know, when people think about cargo, we don't really think much about it, really, honestly. And now you're seeing all the facility you have, like the perishable one, like you have a dangerous one, you have so much, so much areas, you have all sort of cargo. Um, you know, when you think about, for example, the phone I'm holding here, this came in on a cargo plane. You're right, Sam. Cargo is an industry that is not well known to the wider audience. However, it's everywhere. The shirt you're wearing came to your shop in cargo, the watch, your iPhone, probably your shoes, and the salmon you had last night in your hotel in Hong Kong came to Hong Kong on Qatar Airways cargo. Wow. Well, thank you very much for showing me, Greg. My pleasure. It's a huge pleasure. 
to fly on a 747-A Qatar Airways cargo and also see the world-class facility here in Doha. It was a great pleasure to have you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I have superpower. I'm going to use one of my finger to pull the container forward. Watch it. Let's see one finger. Let's go. Well, that was the superpower I have after the 747 flight, but honestly, it is an empty container. Thank you so much for watching.